Okay, so today I'm going to show you how we use our portraiture um, connected to Lightroom to speed up our workflow. So basically, as we're exporting all of our images, we like to run portraiture. And when I went, after you install it, you're going to see that you have an option here to run portraiture at the end of exporting from Lightroom. So we're going to use this window, because these windows are pretty much the same. You're going to decide where you want to put it, what you want to call it, that kind of stuff. So, But up in here, you can decide if you want to use a preset, and it comes loaded with a bunch of generic presets, and then you can also make your own, which I'm going to show you how to do. And then most of the time, once you're familiar with how your presets work, you can just hit this hide portraiture window, and then the portraiture window won't even come up. You won't have to do anything except walk away, and when you're done, your images will look beautiful. But for today, I'm just going to show you how to actually see the, the portraiture window. So we're going to uncheck this. So we're going to go ahead and export these images. And um, what's going to happen is they're going to export in Lightroom. And then portraiture is going to re-pull those images up. And because I opted not to hide that portraiture window, I'm going to be able to make some adjustments and then hit OK. And then it's going to go and run those adjustments to those images. So I'm actually going to show you on a color image because I think it's a little easier to see. And I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. So when you click on the image, it's going to show you what it looks like straight out of the camera. So you can see she has just a little bit of splotchiness in her skin. And then when you unclick on it, it's going to show what this particular setting is going to look. So I want to maybe back off on this just a little because it is looking a little bit too much. So I'm going to bring these details down just to dash. And then threshold is really what adjusts the kind of, I think, plastic look or the, you know, the real smooth, smooth part. So I'm going to just back off on a little bit of the threshold so that we can see a little texture and see some of these hairs in here. And then the other thing, too, is that you can actually create um, a mask for their skin. And you can adjust the opacity of that mask. So I'm going to click on, the, on white just so you can see all the white areas are where portraiture is not going to touch. And you can see that if I adjust the opacity of the mask, that it's going to you know, leave areas that should stay with detail, you know, the background, her lips, you know, the hat, things like that. So if I uncheck this, you're going to see that you know these areas really are not affected by portraiture. Um, you can see lots of detail in her lips with the little you know little creases and things. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and let's pretend that I would like to save this if this is a new preset that I want to save every time I use newborns. So I'm going to just go up to save under presets. And it's going to pull up this dialog box, and it's going to let me save them under different, um, you know, I can create different preset groups. So I'll just put it in my custom one and let's call this newborn skin 5. So I'm going to hit OK and then I'm going to, um, sometimes I like to just go through and check, you know, some of the other ones. You can see here, um, especially on her cheek, she had some, you know, red splotches that this almost all but eliminates. Um, and once I get them that how I like them, I'm just going to go ahead and hit OK, and it's going to go and run portraiture on those five images, and then they're going to have you know a nice basic skin smoothening right out of the the gate that we don't even have to necessarily open them in Photoshop to show a client. Um, so it's really made our images look a lot better before we even get them to the Photoshop stage. So hopefully that was helpful for you.